SAP and show you something that is very interesting. You can create your own document list or own master data list. Okay, so here, if you see, if I go to first, let me log in first. So I'm logging to SAP and this is my user ID and password. Now, suppose I'm going to a purchase order. Okay, here I am a purchase order. Okay, and here if I click on this service for object button, okay, and I click on add to my objects, okay, so it clicks, so it it adds this has been added to your objects. Now you might say, what is this? What it did? So what happens is suppose now I want to see what's in my uh, what's in my object that I have added. So you go to utilities and you go to no my objects and you click on edit objects and here you can see this purchase order has already been added. So if you double click on it, okay, so you can see this purchase order. So here what you are basically doing is you are creating uh, a different phases of favorites with transaction codes that you can that you that is specific to a particular transactional data so in the favorites what we can do is we can add transaction code so like if i go to extra settings and i show display technical names it shows me all the transaction code but now i want a particular data in that so you can easily go and click on those so suppose i want to do something with uh, vendor master so i go to bp okay and suppose i click on start okay and i suppose double click on this and i want so it needs to be here so you click on service for object you click on my objects and you click add to my objects the moment you do this has been added so now what you can do is suppose at, suppose you have opened ME23N, okay, and from here you suddenly realized, oh, I need to see this vendor. So you can go here, select system, my objects, and you click on edit objects, okay, and here you can see this is the vendor number. So you double click on it and it will open another session and you will see the vendor number. So this is very useful. Another thing can you can do is I don't know probably you can add other stuff like uh, sales order or uh, or a purchase position. So suppose I put VA03, okay, and not VA03. We'll put suppose uh, some other transactions that you want to see. Suppose you want to see the the stuff for PA20, okay, of your employee employee information so suppose this is your employee data okay and you want to add this so here you can click on this and you click on my objects and you click add to my objects okay the moment you do that this has been added so from anywhere in sap you go to here system my objects and you click on object history okay uh, so sorry system my objects and you click on edit objects okay and here you can see the corner number okay and you just double click and this will open up the hr data so this is very useful uh, in creating all your own transactional data because lots of times you want to say okay i will always copy my purchase order from from this particular purchase order because this is my sample nowadays we are working smartly by not creating things from the scratch we are copy pasting and editing that's the smartest way to do if you want to create the chances of making mistakes is more but copy paste edit the chances are less imagine most of the time if you're supposed trying to create a purchase order it's probably in order to create a new purchase order you will have to enter 20 different fields but the difference between the purchase order you create uh, for one one vendor and the purchase order for another vendor is probably three four fields so why you are going to enter 16 same repetitive field so that's the smartest way and this way you can always check all those information so suppose you want to see 
other search system my objects you can click and you click on edit objects okay and suppose you want to see this uh, particular vendor okay so if you see this you can see this vendor pretty easy so that's the way it is you can use your own my object list you can build up your own my object list